Hey what's good guys, it's Zach, hope you all are doing well. In this video I've teamed up with Facundo from How To Men to bring you some of the best Android apps of the month. Now make sure you check out his channel where we did a video with 10 more great applications and also make sure you watch both videos to the end because we're giving away application promo codes in each video so you don't want to miss out on that. First up, we've got the Corvi Icon Pack. This pack boasts over 1300 icons, 19 wallpapers, and not only that, it also includes 8 KWGT widgets and 9 Zuper widgets as well. The icons themselves are super colorful, they're attractive, and most importantly, they're very high res and well made. Another great thing about this pack is that each icon is masked, so even if there isn't a specific icon for a certain app, the icon will follow suit to fit in with the rest of the icons. Also, huge thanks to the developer of this app who was kind enough to give away 10 promo codes to get this icon pack for free. Those codes will be listed down below in the description and it's a first come first serve basis, so go grab one while you can. Enjoy guys. Take it away Facundo. Thanks Zach. So the first app I wanted to show you is called Socratic. It's perfect for those of you who are students or just want a little help with a school related subject. You just take a picture of a homework problem, crop it, and then it will show you the answer along with a step-by-step -step instruction on how to solve it. If you can't figure out the solution, then it will bring up the information from different websites related to the problem you are stuck on. In my opinion, it does work well with simple high school homework assignments or random general questions, but it did have a hard time solving upper level problems such as a calculus problem. Nonetheless, it's the quickest and simplest way to find homework answers. Next up, we've got a really handy clipboard manager. This app is for those of you that like to do more with the text and links that you copy. So when you copy something like a tweet for example, you'll instantly get a notification what you copied along with a link in the event that you want to share that tweet. You can do other things like if the text you copied includes a long link, you can shorten that link, you can convert it into a QR code. If there's a phone number in the text, there will be a shortcut to call that number or add it to your contacts. If there's text in a different language, you can quickly translate it and a lot more. The great thing about this app is its overall functionality, its UI design, and the fact that it'll keep track of all the things that you copy just in case you'd like to access something later on. Try it out. If you happen to have an SD card on your device and want to quickly transfer some files over to save some space on your internal storage, then you should check out MoveIt. You can move multiple images, videos, and audio files all together to your SD card or vice versa. It does it quickly and easily so you don't have to hop on a desktop or learn how to use a file manager app. It may not be able to transfer folders or zip files, but most of the time the things that eat up space on a smartphone are usually media files. It also has some extra features such as deleting unwanted junk, auto transfer to automatically move files without opening the app, and media scanner to find and move files that are hidden. Alright, so next up we've got Wall On. Now you guys have probably seen me talk about this app before. I did feature it in a previous video, but I just had to include it here because it's just that good. This is an Unsplash client, so all of these wallpapers do come from Unsplash.com. There are a lot of clients out there. But this one is special. From its clean looks and smooth animations to its selection of high-res wallpapers scattered across loads of different categories and collections. You can also download the photos in their raw format so you can get the highest quality possible. This has quickly become an absolute favorite of mine and it's definitely a must-have. If you loved the Twitter client Phoenix, then you'll be happy to hear that Phoenix 2 is now available for free. Keep in mind that it's still in preview state, so it's not 100% finished, but the UI looks a bit more modern, and you can even customize the entire theme. Other features include adding multiple accounts, gesture controls, and customizing the columns. You are missing some standard features like widgets and Chrome custom tabs, but we'll be seeing these in a future update. So get it while it's free. Next app on hand is Lifehacks. As I'm sure you know, there are quite a few Lifehack applications on the Play Store, but what sets this one apart is the fact that it's lightweight and there are no ads. The user interface is clean, simple, and easy to navigate with different categories like health and fitness, tips to help you save some cash, survival tips, daily life solutions, and more. Find something you or a friend might like? Each hack has a copy, a favorite, and a share button so you can easily keep track and share your favorite life hacks with your friends. Give it a shot! 
My device is a simple yet useful app that tells you everything that you need to know about your phone. From the OS, CPU, battery info, down to the sensors, network, system apps, hardware and software features, and more. There are plenty of other apps that do the same thing, but I found this one to show the most information and present it in a way that is more modern and materialistic. Alright, so second to last, we've got Shu. This here is a pretty addictive game that's sure to test your reflexes. The objective here is to swipe up to shoot these different colored targets. White targets require one shot and red targets require two shots. Along the way, targets will be lined up consecutively so watch out for those, the game will speed up so be ready for that, and occasionally you'll get a power up that'll let you completely wipe out the playing field, so make sure you save that for when you're really in trouble. The game plays smoothly, complete with pew pew sound effects, and overall I'd say it's worth a download. Big fan of the Pixel Pill widget? Then try out Visorg. This little app emulates the style of the search widget found on the Pixel Launcher and allows you to place it over any launcher that you are using. I found Nova Launcher to work best as it pads the widget for an edge-to-edge -edge experience and when I compare it to the original Pixel widget, there's not much of a difference. You can customize the pill, text, touch input, size, and color scheme. Not a bad choice if you ask me. Alright, so there you have it. 10 awesome applications for you guys. Links for these will be down below in the description. Also, make sure you check out the How To Men channel and watch the video Facundo and I did over there with 10 more great apps you should try. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. There's some awesome content being put up on that channel. But anyway, that does it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That does it for me. I'll talk to you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.